Hello and welcome to more Pokemon Uranium! Last time, we kind of had the game crash on us once we got to this place and ran in front of a couple trainers. So since last time, I've gone and repeated most of the stuff we did last episode. There's one thing I kind of forgot to do, which is going to the casino and buying some more coins and getting the Miracle Seed. So I forgot to do that, but on the bright side, we're probably not going to be able to use Moopin for quite a while because they're an egg and then they'll be level one. So hopefully we'll be able to go back to Beale Beach, get that Miracle Seed by the time Noopin is actually useful. But for now, let's go ahead, go back into this little room right here, and try again with these trainers. I have saved my game, so everything's fine. I've already battled the trainer here on the left. Now, I've heard that the reason it crashed is because we basically got in the line of sight of both of these guys at the same time, and the game is not programmed to be able to handle that. So it kind of acted as a double battle, but it wasn't meant to be, so the game crashed. So if that is correct, if I just go down here, it should work just fine. So there you go, as long as we just go down, don't go to the second row of tiles or whatever, and we'll be fine against Hiker Derek. Here we've got Mo Drill, and I don't actually remember what the name of this boat is, but we should be able to do all of the boat stuff today. I'm not sure how long this place is going to be, but let's see how we do against this guy. I'm pretty sure he's part ground if he is. Well, water pulse would be pretty good. We can go for Home Claws. I think that raises his physical attack, right? Uh, yes it does, okay. Oh, and accuracy as well. Not that that matters too much unless he's using something that's really inaccurate. And wow, Dexter with the one shot. It is about time, dude. Well, we've got the, uh, I don't even know what it's called, Mystic Water, whatever it's called, we've got that on him. And we've got his uh, same type of attack bonus with Water Pulse as well, so not super surprising, but still awesome. Here we've got Derule. Once this guy reaches his final form, he's pure steel, but for now, he's part rock, so he's going to be weak to water. So there you go, pretty good damage. He does do a buff attack. Oh, we get a confusion as well. Awesome. Let's go for a second water pulse. That should take him down. Hopefully he won't get through this confusion. He doesn't. Dexter finally putting in some work in these battles. And since Dero is an evolved Pokemon, we might get some good experience off of that. Level 26 as well. 741. Very nice. Oh, there we go. Learning Psybeam. I forgot Dexter actually leveled up last, uh, last episode and we already got Psybeam. But now we're getting it again. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Confusion. Maybe getting rid of Water Gun would have been better. I don't know. But there we go. We've got another Deerule coming out right here. So we'll go ahead and do our best to take that down. Going to go for Water Pulse again. Not going to go for the Psybeam. So this one's doing the same thing. It's going for Rock Polish, which will raise its speed a lot. But I don't really care about that, considering he's already faster than I am. So we'll go for a Water Pulse, do a little bit more damage than last time, but this time we don't get the confusion. And he goes for a Rollout, which is probably not going to hurt that bad. So there you go, we'll hit him with the Water Pulse, and that'll be that. Now I could go back to the last room to heal, but I think we're just going to go fight the next trainer and see how Dexter does, now that he's finally useful. I'm getting nauseous! I guess this guy is getting a little seasick. Okay, now let's go fight here. Actually... I'm going to go ahead and save just in case it was this trainer that crashed it and not because we did a double battle. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine, but we'll just be safe here. Let's see. I have to get off this boat once it stops. There might be people who are injured from the crisis at the power plant. If only I could be as speedy as this this quick claw. Uh, it does me no good. What the? Wait, she's not even a trainer. She just gives me crud. What? Wait, why did it crash last time then? I guess for some reason, if you step on that tile where this guy is, the game crashes. I don't know if I just got bad luck last time or if that's just how it works, but alrighty. I guess I'm going to go ahead and save up here, or heal here. But yeah, if you guys happen to play and you go to this area, make sure you save before doing that room, because it can be scary. And one other thing, guys, look at this crud. In the middle, it says we're actually on Route 8 already. I mean, that is where we're heading, but technically we're on the boat, so I thought it was a little bit weird that it said that specifically. But let's go check out this next room here. We've got a couple of trainers, or maybe trainers, I don't know. Let's go talk to this guy here. I utilize only the strongest of Pokemon. Your Pokemon will not stand a chance before their might. I guess we'll see how we do, but this guy looks like he might have fighting type Pokemon, being a black belt and all. Or he'll have Luna Pup. I mean, that's fighting, and it's also uh, ground type, I believe. Or maybe rock. Pretty sure it's ground like everything else is. So we're going to go with Water Pulse. Uh, Psybeam has a higher base attack, but Water Pulse has the Mystic Water, or whatever that held item is called, so I think that's better overall. So there we go. Almost got him. Now I think that... Water Pulse can confuse. I think Psybeam can lower special defense. I don't remember exactly. I might be thinking of Psychic. He goes for some crazy attacks right here. Gets a critical. He's actually hurting me pretty bad. 
Okay, only four hits right there, and it looks like we were faster, so the second water pulse should do the trick right here. So we'll get this guy taken down, but we might have to swap out for the next one. It just kind of depends on what it is. So let's take a look here. It is going to be a boss off. Man, I should probably swap because he's going to have dark type. That is not going to be very easy for me to take down. He's also going to have fighting, so I don't want to send out Dunspar. So let's go for Bulbasaur. Actually, Trevor too, for that matter. He'd also be worked, uh, weak to the fighting type. So Bulbasaur is going to be our guy, our go-to guy right here. Yeah, dark fighting. Not that easy for my team to deal with. Uh, but I guess we could just do more magnitude like we always do. Get a seven. Not bad. All righty. And let's see how that crud does. And all right, a little bit more than half. He goes for revenge, though. That might hurt a bit. That hurts a lot more than a bit. That hurts a lot, dude. Please get seven or higher. There we go. That should take him down. Maybe we'll get super unlucky and I'll have like one HP left. Uh, no, we got him. All right. So let's check out the experience. Pretty good off that. And Dexter is catching up. But yeah, like I said, Dexter, even though he's psychic, would be good against fighting. Dark covers that. He can't hit a gosh dang dark Pokemon. So makes Bosch off a pretty tough battle for me, actually. But let me go ahead and heal up and we'll keep exploring. All right, so we've got a few paths we can choose from. We could go to the left, we could go down. So down here, there's a staircase and that's pretty much it. Over on the left, we've got a room right there. I just wanna, I wanna fully explore. Okay, we've just got two rooms. So let's go check these crud's out. And then we'll go up the stairs. Inside here, we've got just one person. Let's talk to her. Hello, dear, I was a trainer once. Ah, what a lovely time that was. But now I'm old and crotchety and I have no use for this TM. Will you make good use of it? I don't know what it is. Oh, double team, man. I don't know if I'll ever actually use that, but it's cool to have all, I'll say that much at least. So let's get off here. Let's go on to the next room and see what this one has. We've got Theo. Gosh dang it, Theo. It's you. I mean, duh, of course you'd be here. The next gym's this way, isn't it? I beat Callie. So did I. Don't even brag, dude. That crew was easy. It was hard, but my Pokemon tried their best. Ha! It was easy for me, dude. Take that, Theo. I knew I was better than this guy. Actually, let me talk to him again just to see if there's any more dialogue or maybe he'll give me an item or something like that. Psycho, this is dumb, but I'm sort of scared. Wait, no! I didn't say that. I'm never scared. I'm going to be the best trainer ever. Still, Dad, I... Daddy's strong. He's got strong Pokemon. Your dad's a ranger, right? He'll help everyone. He, he'd better. I mean, uh, just, just want to battle. You know what? I think we're pretty much healed up. Good to go. Let's go ahead and battle Theo. We've got Dexter up front, but I think that's going to be just fine. I want to save Bulbasaur for Orchinx, obviously. So Dexter hopefully will be good against his other stuff. I forgot what other Pokemon he has, actually. Oh, right, he's got Avidan, which being a flying type, we don't have anything particularly good. Dunsparce does have Ancient Power, but that's not going to be same type attack bonus. And this guy actually has, gosh dang, five Pokemon. Let's go for a Psybeam. He's going to go for Mirror Shot, but it misses. Very nice. Let's see how Psybeam does. I mean, I could have gone for the Water Pulse and try to get that Confusion and get a little bit more damage. Maybe that would have been the better choice. Oh, this guy's going to go for Roost. That's actually totally fine. I just wanted to see if Psybeam would lower a stat or something like that, but it didn't this time. I think it's like a 10% chance, if it even is a chance. This actually did less. Did I forget to equip the Held item, or maybe that 5 uh, base attack makes a big difference? I'm not sure. But he is confused, which is fantastic, and he hurts himself. Oh, yeah! That might be enough for me to kill him, actually. It's going to be pretty close. It might be down to, like, the last, yeah, last little chunk right there. I guess we'll just do one more Psybeam here. Or maybe we'll get lucky he'll hit himself again. Yes, he does. That might be enough to kill him and we can save our PP right here. Heck yeah. Gosh dang, Dexter finally being great. Level 27 on this guy. And I uh, used Psybeam, but there was no target crud. So I guess I don't get to save it. Uh, Saw Blue. I can't remember what Pokemon that is. I think I might want to stay in. That is, oh, it's the slug thing. So this is a water and ground type. So unfortunately, the water typing will cover his uh, ground weakness. If only I had a grass type. Oh, well, we'll go for Psybeam. And he's going to go for Rain Dance. That actually kind of works in my favor as well as a water Pokemon. But even still, I don't know if it's worthwhile. Actually, you know what? Let's try it. Let's see how this damage does. It might be a little bit better. He does have Mud Bomb, so that's going to hurt pretty bad. Does almost half, actually, which is a little bit painful. Yeah, look at that. With Rain Dance, Water Pulse doing some great work. We probably will survive this. We do, so this might kill, but we might not quite do it. And no, we got him! Awesome! Another huge chunk of experience right there. And out comes a Spritzy. Gosh, Spritzy's a fairy type, right? So I think I want to use, uh, Trevor? I can't remember what fairy's weaknesses are. I know it's dark. I think it's weak to dark and poison. 
I can't remember. I, I swear they're weak to steel, but they might not be. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit them with Dragon Rage, even though they probably will resist that. I mean, Dragon Claw. Maybe I should just go for Slam, actually. This is like the worst thing. No, it's straight up immune. I didn't know that. Don't worry, guys. Just choosing the worst possible choice for this battle. Uh, how about a Slam instead? That should be fine, right? Uh, actually, that does do pretty good. Let's see what uh, Spritzy actually goes for here. But they didn't do anything last time, really. So let's see what... What the... Do they not have any attacks? What the crud's going on here? That is just bizarre. Why are they just sitting there doing nothing? I don't know what happened there, but that was extremely bizarre. Trevor's getting all kinds of speed boosts. I'm trying not to use Trevor too much because he's overleveled, so... Whoopsie! But he's gonna send out Luna Pup. This would be a great battle for Dexter, but he's kind of almost dead. So I think I'm gonna use... L not Lord Dunsparce because they're part fighting. I guess we'll go with Bulbasaur here. He's probably gonna be the best choice for this one. So he's ground... Uh, ground's gonna hurt me as well, though, but... It's not much I can do, guys. I just gotta... I, I'm gonna have a weakness to pretty much anything except for Dexter. But Dexter's almost dead, so this is all... all problems. Let's just go with Magnitude. He's gonna go for Endure, which is totally fine. I definitely don't mind them going for that crud. And we get a Magnitude 8. Awesome. I just realized the little yellow chunk on his side kind of looks like a giant lemon slice, but whatever. Let's see what we get this time. A Magnitude 6. That might be enough to kill the guy. And we do go first because he didn't use Endure this time. And there we go. We took him down. Awesome. Not too much experience off of that guy, but he's going to send out Metal Inks, which I actually want to stay in for right here. So this will be his Steel and Grass type. That is actually a really cool Pokemon. I'm going to go for the Flame Wheel this time, though, because, well, it's going to be four times super effective. And that'll take him down super easily. This should be level 30 for Bulbasaur. I don't know if it'll be 28 for Dexter. Probably not, but it might be close. Let's check it out. And nope, not quite. Okay, so at this point, I really want to focus on leveling up Dunsparce and Dexter. Sniffles just... I just thought, Dad's in trouble, and I can't even win a battle even though I tried my hardest. Just leave me alone. Fine, jeez, dude. I'm gonna go heal, guys. Wait a second, ding dong, boat guide, the Tandor Luxury Cruise has arrived at its destination on Route 8. The wheat, fe the wheat fields, feel free to take your time getting off, thank you, and please come again. Okay, so we can still fully explore. I think the trigger for having it show up was probably battling Theo and then going back to our room right here. But let's go to our Pokemon. I want to see who I want to put up front here. Uh, you know what, let's leave Dexter up front for now. We'll train up Dunsparce as well, but I just want to get everyone to level 30 and then we'll worry about stuff from there. So let's go down to the south. Actually, did I explore this room yet? I don't think I have. Let's see. Uh, yep, I have. Okay, so let's go down and we'll go inside the staircase. But I'm gonna save real quick just in case, guys. Okay, let's go up. We're all saved up. Oh, what the? That was weird. Um, we've got a guy. This might be a guy that gives us an HM or something. Hello there, little trainer. I'm the captain of this ship. Yeah, but I'm seasick. And we're not even on the ocean. What to do? What to do? I heard back rubs help. Do an old chap a favor. All right, creepy old guy. We'll rub your back. It's going dark for this one. What the heck is that noise? Aha, uh -huh, that's so much better. Well, you wanted something? I don't got nothing for you, Scram. Gosh dang, dude. Well, that's just rude. Can we read any books? No, nope, I guess that's it here, guys. Gosh dang, we're like 13 minutes into this recording, probably a little bit shorter for the actual episode. And man, if only it didn't crash last time, because this would have been the perfect time to stop last episode, because last episode was a little bit short. So that would have made for like the perfect episode length, and we could have just started directly on Route 8. This guy's standing in a very weird spot, I don't know what's going on here, but I guess we are ready to get off and go on to Route 8! And once again, we got the beautiful Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles music, which really makes me want to Let's Play that game. I love that game so much, although I'm not sure how a Let's Play would work because, well, it's kind of meant to be a co-op game, but... Anyways, I'm worried about my fellow rangers at the Burl Beach Power Plant, but I'm uh, posted here to ensure that the power plant north of here remains safe, too. I guess just in case someone's, like, attacking the power plants. Whoa, are you a real Pokemon trainer? Look, I just found this at the bushes. Uh, at these bushes, it can be useful. Whoa! Oh my gosh, guys, we just got a Miracle Seed. That is what I bought from the casino, or that I forgot to buy this time, so maybe it's a good thing I forgot. We get a freebie. Let's go north, I guess. I'm pretty sure Route 8 is meant to be quite large, guys, so just a heads up. To talk to this guy. Round here, most of us folks work on the farms. It's hard work, but it's enough to feed all of Tandor. Wow. They feed the entire region. Uh, we got some fields right here. Yeah, with some Pokemon as well. Let's see what new Pokemon we might have. Okay, there is Mareep. But guys, remember, I mentioned that we got rid of the last Bashan because I wanted to actually get one here because we can find one as high as level 26. So you know what? Let's go ahead and find a Bashan. Level 26 is what I'm going to shoot for here. Oh, hey guys, I found a Cottony. Awesome. So I guess we'll go ahead and catch that. 
and uh, add it to the collection. Let's see if I can hit him with a water gun. He should resist this. Oh, crud, Mega Drain. That animated really fast for some reason. So this might be a little bit tough to take him down if he's going to keep draining my HP like that and healing himself and all that crud. But yeah, this guy is just a nuisance using poison powder on me now. I'm going to go ahead and do water pulls. Hopefully that'll take him down low enough to just start chucking great balls. Not that low, but... Mm. I'll do one more. All right, we got a critical. Perfect. I'm actually going to swap over to Trevor because this guy keeps using Mega Drain and he's just going to... Actually, you know what? I'll probably just catch him. Let's just do that. That'll be easier. There we go. We got him. Right. Switching to Trevor did not really make it... Or it wouldn't have made a difference. We're fine. Everything's good, guys. The cotton Pokemon, they go wherever the wind takes them. Kind of like a Hopip. On rainy days, their bodies are heavier, so they take shelter beneath big trees. Well, now I'm poisoned. I don't actually know if I have any antidotes, so I should probably go and take a look here. Uh, medicine. Do we have any antidotes? We do. Fantastic. Actually, I've got like 10 of them. Wow. Well, let's see what else I can find here. But the downside is because I caught Cottony, now he's in my team slot. So if I do catch Bosh on, I'm going to have to go to a PC to actually get him on the team here. Hey, we found a Buran, which is actually a 5% encounter rate. Awesome to see it. Please do not get hit by Flame Body. Please. Thank you. Okay. He almost killed himself right there. So I really hope this catches it because otherwise either I'm dead or he's going to use get, or get hit by Flame Body and he's going to be dead. Let's go. It's just going to be a much better time if we just catch it. Let's catch the thing. He's already in the red. Gosh dang it, you little crud. Okay, or I'll survive with one HP. We've got another chance at this crud. Or not. Oh my gosh, just get caught. You're so low. There we go, finally. The hand dragon Pokemon. The appendage at the end of its tail is its primary form of attack, and it is able to... Deftly manipulate objects with it is. Hey, another new Pokemon. We found Mistrivis. I guess not exactly new to uh, Pokemon, but well, new to the uh, playthrough here. I don't really have any good way to damage him. Kind of a problem. Hopefully ancient power will not kill him. That would be fantastic. Good, it didn't do that much. Well, that is about as low as I can safely get him because ancient power just raised all of my stats. So if I use it again, he's probably going to get killed. So wish me luck. First try. Nice. Screech Pokemon. A mischievous or mischievous, I guess, depending on how you want to pronounce it, frightens people with a creepy sobbing cry. It apparently uses its red spheres to absorb the fear of. So at this point, I found pretty much everything Thing I want to catch here, aside from Bashan, who is a 10% encounter rate. Yeah, come on. By the way, it's worth mentioning there is a 1% encounter rate Flappy here. So if you wanted to add a Ampharos to your team and didn't want to start with a base Mareep, you could look for a super rare 1%, but ah, don't mind me just finding everything except for Bashan. How many Mareep am I going to find? Finally! Oh my gosh, level 21? What? The gosh dang wiki says it can't even be that low. It says 22 to 26. That crud lies. I'm like, wow. I don't even want this one. I'm going to keep looking, dude. I'm saying at least, at least level 24. Hopefully level 26. You got to you gotta look at this positively, guys. On the bright side, all this running back and forth is getting my Nupin closer to hatching. That, that's a good part. Okay, at this point, I'll, I'll settle for level 23. Just give me another boss, on, please. My hard drive only has room for 13 more hours of audio recording. I don't know if I'll make it in time. Time. Come on, Baran, you're only a 5% encounter rate, and I found more of you than I have of the Pokemon I'm actually looking for, who is the 10% encounter rate. When you watch this video edited down, it might seem like I'm just kind of complaining a little bit too much. Maybe I'm not going through that many encounters, because it looks like I'm only showing, like, a battle here and there. But I'm actually doing about 10 battles per clip you're actually seeing. You're the wrong sheep, Marie! Finally! Yes! Level 25! There we go! Now, I just have to actually catch it without killing it. Hopefully, I can do this, crud. Uh, I don't know who to hit it with. Maybe Dunsparce. I just gotta hope he doesn't have a fighting attack. I think I'm gonna go with Ancient Power. I feel like he could probably survive takedown, but it's risky. You know what? This is the test. We're gonna do takedown. If he survives it, that's awesome. Please don't die. Please don't get a critical as well. That would also suck. So, let neither of those happen. Oh, there we go. That was so risky, but it worked. That's gonna hurt a lot. Holy crap, that's gonna hurt a lot. I'm dead. I might actually like straight up die trying to catch this thing, but uh, well, I'll do my best. I I'll, I'll do my best to live that is, not do my best to die. All right, let's use a great ball and hopefully catch this guy. Thank goodness, first try on that one. Let's go ahead and name this guy Marie. So it's gonna replace the other Marie there. It's gonna go to the PC, which has been unfortunate. I also wanna find out, can I go back on the boat and heal? Because I really need to. Like, almost everything is dead. Dexter is just about dead as well. The only thing that's really kicking right now is Trevor. And, well, if we run into a fighting Pokemon or a fire Pokemon, 
Nope, the boat's gone. This is bad. Maybe that house over by the field that we've been next to for like the past half an hour, maybe that thing can actually heal me. So let's go check that crit out at least. There's a Mareep outside. Oh, there's balls down here too. Trainer tips. When fishing, you need patience and quick reflexes. Wait until the message, oh, a bite appears, then reel it in quick. This might be where we get the good rod then, but let's go inside, see if we can heal. Please tell me I can heal here. Uh, yes, it looks like it. Yes, okay, awesome. So we're actually gonna be able to heal right here. So what I'm going to do, guys, I think that in terms of training, I'm going to get Boshan up to level 30 after I get Dexter there. So we'll we'll go ahead and leave the experience share on Dexter. Once he's at 30, then we'll swap it over. Actually, is there a PC here? Can I swap? Uh, there looks like there is. Maybe we can do it here. Yes, awesome. Ah, jeez. Did we get a terrible nature for a gosh dang fighting dark type? Oh, well, we're keeping it. Okay, guys, let's keep exploring. Let's go talk to this guy at least. Oh, you sport, you look like you're the kind of type to fish. I see that gleam in your eye right there. That gleam, that hope. You seem to be the kind, uh, like the kind of person who is ready to sit and wait for out. <laughs> sit and wait for hours for something to bite. Am I right? I mean, I pretty much just did that with Boshan, so there you go. And here we get the good rod, guys. So I can put the good rod in the key items pocket. Let's go check out what this item is. Let's see if we can talk to this Mareep with the PST. No, I guess we can't. Uh, but here we get an Ultra Ball. Very nice. Let me go over to the right a little bit here. And okay, it looks like these paths just loop back around. Let's go check out the good rod. I think we can catch something uh, new here. So let's go check it out. And we have a Magikarp with our good rod. And this time we've got a Magikarp. Look at it. There it is. The Glass Slug. Yes, we found it. Unfortunately, I don't have any more net balls to actually catch this thing with. So I'm going to try to damage it with something. Uh... Let's see, what should I actually hurt this guy with? Maybe this will actually be a good time for Mareep. And unfortunately, my stomp did a little bit more than half, so I can't really damage him any more than that. That sucks. But I guess we're just gonna chuck a great ball in, and hopefully it works. Not that it matters too much. This thing has a 40% encounter rate here, so it's not super rare by any means. But hopefully we get a first try just to save some balls here. And we don't, of course not. Nope. Oh my gosh. Don't really have a lot of balls to spare, dude. Crud. Finally we caught it, and gosh dang Skype messages. The sea select Pokemon Water and Ice, a Pokemon highly sensitive to the changes in sea suns. What? Oh, seasons. Seasons, that's the word. Glass look, come and go with the warm undersea currents. And Trevor is now level 32. Whoops. Alrighty, with that, let's go explore a little bit. Now let's explore a little bit more. So we've still got this guy. I don't really think we can do anything more with him. I think we just have to go up here at this point. I'm keeping my eyes peeled. Trying to look for any kind of balls or any kind of items we can get. Oh, we got a trainer here. Excuse moi. Oh, okay. There's some berries down there as well we can get. This guy's just going crazy. Triathlete Mark. Mark. I don't know how to pronounce that. But we've got a Cottony right here. Well, Dexter is not going to be the best for this, so I think we're going to swap out. I could go to Bulbasaur, he'd be great for this. Actually, I don't know, but uh, we'll use Dunsparce anyways. I'll just do some takedown action. I think it'll work out just fine. And Dunsparce and Dexter are kind of the two I'm really trying to level right now. And then after that, we'll focus on Bosch on some more. Whoa, this one's actually got Giga Drain, and it doesn't do that much against Dunsparce. Of course not. Let's go for a takedown here. And this guy's got three Pokemon, so I might have to use some Roost action or something like that as we go. But let's see how this takedown does. I want to see if it will one-shot. Might take two. Uh, yeah, it's going to take two. Not the biggest of deals. Giga Drain will heal him a little bit, but I don't think it'll do too much. And even if it stalls me for a while, Giga Drain doesn't have that much PP. Yeah, that's definitely not going to let him survive unless I miss, which I don't. So Cottony is going down. Let's go check out what his second Pokemon is right here. And I think I'm going to use Roost on Dunsparce if I decide to use him in the battle again. Uh, he sends out a Flaffy. For that, we're actually going to use Bulbasaur. I do want to try to use Dunsparce and Dexter primarily, but you can't just turn away such a fantastic matchup right here. So, Flappy coming out. That means we're going to go hit it with the Magnitude and probably one-shot it. We might one-shot it even if we get like a six. Well, let's test that, uh, test that out because we got a six right here. And does it one-shot? It does! There you go! Alright, and that should be some great experience. Dexter is level 28 now, so he's not going to level up anytime soon. Avidens coming out. Uh... I guess we could use Dunsparce and go for the Ancient Power, because we still don't have an electric Pokemon to be, uh, better deal with these flying types here. Ow, he got me with a critical right there. He used Mirror Shot, whatever that crud is, and I don't think this is going to one-shot. No, it might not even two-shot. Great. I think I'm going to have to go for the Roost here. Please don't get a second crit. Oh, he actually misses. Wow. Well, that's fantastic. So I can go ahead and heal. Hit him with two more ancient powers and we'll be fine. Never mind. One more was enough. There you go. And of course, all the stat gains, they always seem to happen on the one where I actually kill them already. My Pokemon are as fit as me. We fit. 
Or maybe Wii Fit Trainer? I don't know. Here we've got Cornberries. That just sounds weird. Is it like the Wild Thornberries? I don't know, but we got that. Let's go ahead and grab all three of these. Looks like they come in patches of two, which makes sense if you just look at them. They look like patches of two. There's the last one here. We'll go ahead and grab Dak Crud. And we've got two paths. We can go down or to the left. So you guys know me. We're going to go check out the left side first. We got this guy here. Once I was the trainer of some renown, but now I'm retired. My kids have Pokemon now, and I enjoy the quiet life. All right, and we've also got a Reap. Reap? What the crud? Uh, more berries to get! Heck yeah! The Lumberry kind of reminds me of the Lums from uh, Rayman Origins, or Rayman Legends, I mean. Actually, do both of those have that? I don't know. Oh, what's that, sugar? You want to battle? Well, shucks, I don't see why not. I was just trying to get some berries. I didn't want to battle you right now, but alright, I guess we have to. Farmer Hilda, sending out a Tanscure, the evolved form of Tancoon. Wow, I don't actually remember what type he is. Let me guess, he's probably part dark type. I'm gonna go for water pulse. Hopefully he doesn't have like bite or crunch. Of course he does. Everything has bite, dude. Gosh dang everything. And it almost one shots me. Fantastic. That is the downside to psychic type is I swear so many Pokemon have bite or crunch and it's just so hard to deal with. On the bright side, this is her only Pokemon. Dunsparce might be able to take it down, but he's not fully healed. So this might be a close one, guys. Yeah, that's gonna hurt a lot. We got hit by a critical. Fantastic. Well, I guess we're gonna have to rely on Trevor like always. Even Trevor got pretty low after two bites right there, but we're gonna go first. We're gonna hit him with the Dragon Claw, and he'll be dead. Unfortunately, the experience is getting split three ways, but Dexter should get the biggest chunk right there. 636, very nice. The other two get just a little bit there. Oh, this one's got some spunk. That's gross, dude. Let's go ahead and grab this little bit of berry here. We've got Rindo berries. And I think I'm probably going to want to go back to that house and heal. And we've also got this downward path. I think that's another trainer right there. But I want to see what else is down here. Is there anything fancy? There's a ball to grab at least. We've got TM28 with Dig. All right. And we've also got another Fisher guy. But you know what, guys? I've been recording for about 47 minutes. So I think we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We'll come back next time, and I'll go back and heal. We'll come back, fight this guy, fight whoever that is on the bike right there, and hopefully finish off Route 8. I'll see you guys then. Take care.